All right, welcome back. We're going to cover the knee in this installment of Normal Gait. Thanks for joining us again. If you're here, you're probably in a gait class. So starting off with some slow motion, that'll be from left initial contact to the following left initial contact. So here we're going to have about five degrees of knee flexion. It's going to appear extended. The extensors and flexors of the knee are working together to prevent further flexion of the knee, and the ground reaction force is going to be anterior to the knee. Again, initial contact is super quick in the gait cycle. Then we have loading response, so then the knee is going to flex a little bit more to up to 20 degrees of knee flexion, depending on how much shock absorption the patient requires. The knee extensors are going to prevent the knee from buckling um, into further flexion, and the ground reaction force is now posterior because we have a flexion moment at the knee. Then we move into mid stance. So we move from about five degrees of knee flexion to extension. Uh, the quads and the gastroc muscles are maintaining weight-bearing stability, and the ground reaction force is going to pass from posterior to anterior the knee. Then in terminal stance, uh, the knee flexion goes to about five degrees. Ground reaction force is still anterior, so we have passive knee extension thanks to that anterior ground reaction force. Then pre-swing, which we know is preparation for all the weight to go onto the other limb, we have about 40 degrees of knee flexion. Ground reaction force is posterior, giving it a knee flexion moment. The rectus femoris is decelerating knee flexion, and the, due to that ground reaction force, the knee flexion is passive, so the hamstrings weren't working back there. During initial swing, uh, we have the most amount of knee flexion at 60 degrees. The sartorius and gracilis are working together to flex both the knee and the hip in this phase. Moving on to mid-swing, so again, uh, limb clearance is the name of the game here. Flexion decreases to about 25 degrees at the knee. The hamstrings are slowing down the rate of knee extension, so the knee just doesn't fly forward. And finally, we have terminal swing. So this is where the knee continues to extend. We have about five degrees of knee flexion. It's going to look very extended, kind of like initial contact. Quadriceps are firing to extend the knee. And then you have initial contact to start the next gait cycle. Thanks for coming back and watching part two.